Peace, light, and love, YouTube. It is Jay Farrow. So, um, I'm going to be, uh, let me turn this light on real quick. See me a little bit better. What's up? What's up? So, um, it's going to be a short video, not a long one. Um, getting back to this flow of things. Um, uh, I'm getting to these videos. Life has been really hard for me. And, uh, I feel like every time I get up to save my life, God allows something to come and knock me down. It's like, and it's feel like this divine purpose in it. I feel like, you know, I know God is aware of me and God is blessing me. I feel like I'm being dragged like a motherfucker. Like I'm being dragged through fucking life. Um, I recently moved, which was such a big blessing, but it's also been so fucking stressful. Um, just to kind of share, you know, what kind of what's been going on for me. So, I was living where I had. Whoo! I don't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. I was living in really sad circumstances. I had all these animals in two different locations. I have family members that practice black magic and think I don't know. Um, try to birth me as a voodoo child. Um, and that didn't work because the motherfucker's not strong enough to, to to take my energy for themselves to sacrifice me. So here I am, just this really powerful, really cute <laughs> man. Here I am. Just this 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 black man searching for my place in the world. But what I want to do is each day, move forward. I won't talk about all that sad shit. Fuck everybody. Okay, not you. Uh, just, you know, fuck everybody. <sighs> I moved here. I have gotten three jobs. Had to lose three jobs. I have my car broke down. Um, two hours from where I started. I have this rent to pay. That's a thousand dollars a month, which is a lot for me. Um, plus utilities and all that other stuff. And I really just don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. And I'm really fucking tired. Like you can probably see, like, oh, it looks like a pretty nice apartment. I'm really happy for it, but it's stressing me the fuck out. <laughs> So, but one uh, part of what I do is um, I like to pull three cards from Maji Got the T's Chosen Ones 144 Oracle Deck. Check Maji out um, on her website, www.majigatthetea.com. You can also check Maji out on YouTube, on her web, I mean, on her YouTube channel, Maji Got the Tea. Miley, she is an amazing psychic. She does so many different things. I don't think that um, you can really label Maji as anything. She's a rapper. She's a singer. She's feminine. She's masculine. She's uh, foreign in her DNA. She's got uh, more common things like African American in her DNA. Um, she's got Dominican stuff in her DNA. And if you look at her, she just looks like she is a beautiful mix of so many different things. Long hair, hair comes down like, like lower than that. She's beautiful, From inside and out it seems. Check out Maji. Um, Maji makes merchandise. She makes sweaters. She makes t-shirts. She makes teacups because Maji got the tea right. So Maji makes two teacups for you to get your tea. <laughs> um, why is she, uh, she's elegant. She's also like a rough rider. She'd be like all nice and and prim one second. And then the next second, it's like, I'm a rough rider. I'm a rough rider. And she'd be like, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She'd be like, oh, you know I'm from, she's from New York. New York City. Um, so she definitely got that, you know, she like Jay-Z cousin. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just talking about Maji. I love talking about Maji. 
Some other channels I love to watch are um, Brittany the Intuitive Cosmic Wifey. Check her out at Drop Dead Cosmic on YouTube. I also love Shanetta. Um, check her out at Shanetta's Divine Tarot or Shanetta's Tarot. It's two N's and two T's on YouTube. Put in Shanetta, S-H-O-N-N-E-T-T-A, and you'll, um, you know, so Shanetta's Tarot. You'll find her beautiful. Um, all the ladies I just mentioned, Shanetta, Brittany, and Maji, are absolutely beautiful. I wonder if I have a thing about watching pretty ladies on YouTube. <laughs> Those are some very pretty ladies. Um, so, um, all right, here we go. I'm gonna do three cards. I really just want to get three cards the energy of the day today. Um, you know, kind of what the divine knows that I want to get my that, that will kind of get my vibration in alignment for what is coming my way today. I've been having a lot of tough days, I'm feeling like it's been up and down. It's like, I've been working really hard and think finally I got things on track. All I gotta do is just keep working hard like this and it'll all work out. And then something just comes along and fucks it up. And I'm just like, God, what the fuck? You keep allowing this. Uh, I saw spend time alone. That kind of came out. I will be spending time alone today because I don't have a car. I don't want to be sarcastic. I'm scared. You don't need to tell me to spend time alone because what the fuck else am I going to do? Uh, but anyways, maybe that's why I didn't come all the way out. It comes back out then. Let's see. Ooh. Another card. Let me take it. Hidden Secrets. Hidden Secrets. This is really, you know, the energy I've been feeling. I've been telling you, Doc. I've been saying this for the past seven minutes. There's, there's this shit at hand. And God knows it's at hand. And I feel it at hand. There are hidden secrets at hand. People doing shit to me. I know people are doing spell work against me. I know that they are. I can see it. I can smell it. I feel it. It's my family. They think I don't know, or they they like I know it's unspoken, known thing. It's like if you ever watched Charmed, and Charmed one's father came home. When Piper was pregnant with Wyatt, and Wyatt was about to be born, and for for the birth of Wyatt, the father came home, but came went to the manor to to visit the charm ones for the birth of Wyatt, right? And he came home with who? The father came home with a new woman, who was their new stepmother. That new stepmother it came home with, and I just talking about birthing. What's this card? Rebirth, okay. Maybe getting into alignment here. Rebirth, okay. And the father came home with some of the charm ones when Piper, the sister, who birthed Wyatt, these this, this amazingly powerful being. She uh, she um, she getting ready to have the baby. Father came to visit the charm once. He came home with the new step, um, new wife, who's the stepmom, and the stepmom was really a demon who came to try to steal the baby. Remember it in Charmed. So, um, my mother she married a a Haitian man. Um, and that whole family screams voodoo. Uh, they have a child with my half sister who just seems like. A walking bag of spirits. It says here, you were born to be a legend. You were born to be a legend. I'm going to do one more because these keep falling on the ground. I want one that does not fall. I'm going to pick one of my own. All right. We have Empath. Empath. So these are the cards I'm going to take for today. Shout out to the Chosen Ones, 144, Oracle Deck, made by Maji, got the T. This card, by the way, says Black Sheep. And it's definitely me. Definitely a Black Sheep by myself. Underestimated by myself. 
people don't really know who I am by myself, by myself, by myself. Okay. So if you were born to be a legend, hidden secrets, rebirth, and empath. How do you get a better setup? But, but for today, I believe that the holy divine, the highest divine in my life is, is communicating that, you know, I am facing hidden secrets. This is happening for me in my life. I'm not bugging. It's happening. These hidden secrets are in place because I am currently experiencing a rebirth. There's so much going on in my life that it's the death of what was in the beginning of something new, something different. And, and the birthing pains, the birthing pains are hurting, you know. I'm making fun of it, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pain right now. As I become something new, someone different. This rebirth, it hurts. <laughs> and I guess I'm being reborn to be the legend that I was born to be. I was born to be a legend. I was born to be a legend. And that birthing process is happening now. And God is illuminating. Who I heard that. God is illuminating the hidden secrets because and this is something that Brittany was talking about. Brittany the intuitive calls me wifey. We only fuck with the light, and that's so period. She was just talking about her video just now. Brittany just posted a video I was watching him right now. Thank you, Brittany. And Brittany was saying, we about to blow the roof up off this bitch because God is illuminating the hidden secrets. And we are in a lot of pain right now. Brittany was saying this, that we are in a state of crisis right now. We are in a state of crisis right now. And why are we in a state of crisis that God has ordained, that God has allowed that the divine has allowed that our higher powers have allowed we are in these crises because god is making sure that it cannot be unseen god is making sure that what these hidden secrets that once they are brought to the light once these hidden secrets are illuminated they are making sure the divine is making sure our ancestors are making sure the the divine highest power, divine highest divine white light is making sure that we do not forget what the fuck we learn. Is that you know what? Sometimes that happens. You see the truth about people, and then you kind of let it go. I saw it. Did I see it? Oh, you know, maybe. Oh, no, bitch. God is making sure that when these hidden secrets are illuminated. Once he brings this to the light, that we will be sure. I will know that my aunt is blowing black magic on me. I know that my mother does not really fucking love me. I know that my mother is some type of fucking voodoo black uh, witch worker. I know that I come from a, a, a line of demons, a lot, a lot of dark magic. I know that. My mother's side of my family is so fucking demonic. There's so many demonic beings. They're so demonic. And God is making sure that we know this. And that we don't unsee what the fuck they show us as the truth. And we're feeling this right now. And it's in past. Woo! Sorry to yell in your ear. But as impasse, this is going to hurt. Feeling all of this, having this flow through our bodies. You know, as an empath, when you are feeling hidden secrets as an empath, that is very likely going to hurt like a motherfucker. As an empath, when you go through a rebirthing process, it is going to hurt like a motherfucker. And as an empath, when you feel what it feels like to be a legend on planet Earth. Come on now. Planet Earth. 
an empath on earth, that shit is going to hurt. And that's what's going on in my life. I am hurting. I am rebirthing. I am being shown hidden secrets. I am walking into my destiny as a legend. And I'm claiming that for myself. So, hey, that's my read for the AM. I hope God is proud of me. I'm going to be proud of myself. Y'all, please pray for me. Please pray to the heavens divine, the highest divine of my life. You see all this behind me, this roof above my head, and, you know, the walls and the apartment I'm in, and I've got lots of animals in here, y'all. I want to keep us okay. I'm standing here. I've been here for one month. I've had three different jobs trying to make this work. I now have no job. I've had three different cars trying to make this work. I now have no car. And 30 days. Do you hear what the fuck I said? I moved two hours away. Had three different jobs. And had three different cars. And 30 fucking days. Something going on. I'm fighting. God is rebirthing me. Something is trying to stop me. Please pray for me that I make it through. God is good. It's going to work out. I pray for you. I pray God blesses you to be your, your best divine self, to be to live your best life, to be the best version of yourself. Peace, light, and love. It is Jay Pharaoh. Be blessed.